हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट न्यूमेरिकल ऑफ स्लोप डिफ्लेक्शन मेथड क्वेश्चन इज रिटर्न एज एनालाइज द बीम बाय स्लोप डिफ्लेक्शन मेथड वी नीड टू एनालाइज दिस बीम कंप्लीटली बाय द स्लोप डिफ्लेक्शन मेथड नाउ दिस बीम इज हैविंग सपोर्ट ए एंड डी एज फिक्स्ड and is having a uniformly distributed load in a span bc of magnitude 10 kN per meter and is having a point load of 50 kN at the center of the span cd now the span length is same for ab bc and cd that is 4 meter 4 meter and 4 meter and ei is constant for each span okay now for finding the deflections or rotation at each joint as well as for completely analyzing this beam we need to find the fixed end moment first now for finding the fixed end moment for ab and ba it will be equals to 0 because in span ab there will be no loading okay or no loading is acting on the span ab that's why the fixed end moment of ab as well as for ba it will be equals to 0 now for span bc the fixed end moment will be written as minus wl square by 12 it is because of uniformly distributed load so after putting the value that is minus 10 into 4 square divided by 12 we will get the value as minus 13.3 kN meter now when we compute the fixed end moment we will consider this sign so when we put this value in the slope deflection method we will directly use the slope deflection equation okay now here the fixed end moment for bc will be equals to minus 13.3 kN meter now for span cb the magnitude will be same and the sign will be opposite that is plus 13.3 kN meter now for span cd due to point load acting at the center the fixed end moment for cd will be equals to minus wl by 8 so after putting the value of wl we will get the value as minus 25 kN meter similarly really for fixed end moment at dc we will get the value as plus 25 kN meter so we had computed all the fixed end moment that is ab ba bc cb cd and dc now we will go for the slope deflection equation at each span now for mab we will have the slope deflection equation as fixed end moment at ab plus 2ei upon l 2 theta a plus theta b minus 3 delta upon l now for span ab fixed end moment is zero so we just write the fixed end moment as zero having ei constant so we just write the 2ei in the numerator portion and is having span length of 4 meter so we just write the cap, small l value as 4 meter okay now theta a is zero because the support a is fixed that's why theta a will be equals to zero theta b is written as theta b because it is unknown here and there will be no deflection at any support so delta will be equals to what zero after solving this equation we will get mab equals to ei theta b upon 2 similarly for span ba we will get mba equals to mf ba plus 2ei upon l 2 theta b plus theta a minus 3 delta upon l here theta a will be equals to 0 and delta will be equals to 0 now after solving this we will get mba equals to ei theta b similarly for mbc we will write the equation as fixed end moment at bc plus 2ei upon l 2 theta b plus theta c minus 3 delta upon l now here the delta is 0 and theta b and theta c are unknown so after putting all the values that is fixed end moment 2ei upon 4 2 theta b plus theta c we will get mbc equation as ei theta b plus ei theta c by 2 minus 13.3 that is the value of mbc according to the slope deflection equation now similarly we can compute the mcb value which will be equals to mfcb plus 2ei upon l 2 theta c plus theta b minus 3 delta upon l here 
the delta value is 0. So, after putting all this value, we will get MCB equals to EA theta B upon 2 plus EA theta C plus 13.3. Similarly, we can compute the MCD value which will be equals to EA theta C minus 25 because theta D is 0 here due to fixity of support D as well as delta is also 0. So, we will get MCD equals to EA theta C minus 25. Similarly, we can compute the MDC value by putting theta D equals to 0 and delta is equals to 0. We will get MDC equals to EI theta C upon 2 plus 25. Okay. Now, we need to consider the joint equilibrium equation at joint B. Due to the equilibrium of joint B, net movement acting at joint B will be equals to 0. So, MBA plus MBC will be equals to 0. Now, we need to put the value of MBA and MBC. It will be equals to EI theta B plus EI theta B plus EI theta C by 2 minus 13.3. We will get the first equation as 2 EI theta B plus EI theta C by 2 minus 13.3 equals to 0. That is the first equation. Now, after applying the equilibrium condition at joint C, we will have MCB plus MCD equals to 0. Now, after putting the value of MCB and MCD, we will get EI theta B by 2 plus EI theta C plus 13.3 plus EI theta C minus 25. We will get the equation as EI theta B by 2 plus 2 EI theta C minus 11.7 equals to 0. That is the second equation. Now, we have two unknown that is theta B and theta C as well as we have two equations. So, we can determine the theta B and theta C value from both this equation. Now, from equation A and B, we will have EI theta B equals to plus 5.53 as well as EA theta C equals to plus 4.47. Now, after putting this EA theta B and EA theta C in all the equation that is MAB, MBA, MBC, MCB, MCD, MDC, we will be able to calculate the moment in all the spans. Okay. Now, we will put one by one each and every value in each and every equation. We will get MAB equals to 2.765 kN meter. MBA equals to 5.53 kN meter, MBC will be equals to minus 5.53 kN meter, MCB will be equals to 20.53 kN meter, similarly MCD will be equals to minus 20.53 kN meter and MDC will be equals to 27.235 kN meter. Now we have all the moments value for span A, B, B, C and C, D. Now we will need to construct a diagram here that is the net moment diagram as well as the deflected shape. Now, first of all, we need to plot the value that we had calculated here that is in span AB, the moment value will be minus 2.765. For BC, it will be equals to 5.53. For CD, it will be equals to 20.53. And for DC, it will be equals to 27.235. And this is due to the fixed end moment ok so this value will be always throughout negative clear now we need to compute the mid span positive movement due to this udl and due to this point load now the mid span positive movement for udl will be equals to wl square by 8 after putting the value we will get the value as 20 kN meter Similarly, for point load of 50 kN, the positive mid span moment will be equals to WL by 4 whose magnitude will be equals to 50. Now, this negative and positive portion will cancel out each other and we will have the net moment diagram which will be shown by the color here that is the pink color. So, in this portion, this will be the net moment diagram here this will be the net moment diagram here this will be the net moment diagram here this will be the net moment diagram and here this will be the net moment diagram now in this zone the moment or the net moment will be of negative nature here the net moment will be of positive nature here negative positive and negative 
now we had just taken the offset of this point where the bending moment changes its sign we had taken the offset of this points now the point where the bending moment changes its nature that is this point this point this point as well as this point where the bending moment is changes its nature that is negative to positive or from positive to negative that point is known as point of contraflexure okay now after net moment diagram we need to construct the deflected shape for the first portion that is ab portion the net moment is of negative nature that is hogging moment so due to fixity at a we need to make the rotation near a equals to 0 after that the graph will be of hogging nature now after first point of contraflexure that is this we will have the positive moment so the nat nature will be sagging after second point of contraflexure that is after this point we will have the negative moment so the nature of the deflected curve will be hogging nature similarly sagging and hogging now the deflected shape or the point where the deflected shape will be changing its curvature that point is known as point of inflection where the deflected shape changes its nature that is from hogging to sagging or from sagging to hogging that point is known as point of inflection so we had completely analyzed this beam we had completely find all the moments as well as we had constructed the net moment diagram as well as we had draw the deflected shape of this beam that is all about this question we had completely solved this numerical thank you very much students